When I was 19 or 20 years old, I was still back in India, and I used to lead three Bible studies a week. And two of them were in pharmacy schools. In India, we call them pharmacy college, college of pharmacy. And one of them was at a dental school. So I would do three Bible studies a week, and the way that I did it was I, I took my guitar along, I had some printed song sheets, we all sat around in a circle, and we sang some songs. There were some Christians, some Hindus, some Muslims, and we sat and uh, sang some songs. Then I had these little booklets of the Gospel of John that we gave out, and we went from John 1. First week we did John 1, uh, second week we did John 2, and we kept going. In one of those colleges by the name of KLE College of Pharmacy, the first week that I was there, there were about 12 to 15 students sitting around in a circle. We did our singing, and I gave out the Gospel of John, and we started to discuss it. And and as we were discussing it, I uh, recognized that there was a Hindu kid, about 17 years old. He was sitting in the corner, and um, he was not a pharmacy student, but he was a relative of a friend who happened to be there, and so he showed up. So I talked about John chapter 1, and then uh, we were done. I took all the um, stuff back, and as I was riding my motorbike an hour back home, I remember thinking this to myself in my pea-sized brain. I thought, man, I wish that we were doing John chapter 2 instead of John chapter 1 because there was the miracle of Jesus turning water to wine. John chapter 1 has a profoundly theological passage of the first 18 verses. You can spend three lifetimes studying it and you'll never uh, plumb the depths of that passage. And I thought to myself, I wish I was not doing John chapter one. I wish that kid was there when we were doing John chapter two because I knew that I would not see him again. I never saw that kid again. But about six months later, I got a phone call on a Sunday morning. I picked up the phone and somebody told me that Abhishek got baptized today. His dad, who is a, from a violent uh, fringe Hindu group, was coming to stop the baptism with his friends, but he came too late. And that kid, that 17-year-old kid, got baptized today. Ladies and gentlemen, I had underestimated the power of God's word. The Bible has transformed lives and cultures for 2,000 years. And it can change your life and mine.